Hello everyone, I'm Tom Crow and in today's tutorial for Crossplace we're going to speak about, about the bad USB vulnerability. The bad USB vulnerability, uh, it came back in August 2014 and the team of researchers found a way to reprogram the microchip, uh, the microcontroller of any USB device uh, that gives the ability to recognize the type of USB device in the connected uh, computer. Uh, but these researchers uh, doesn't, uh, didn't publish the code that we can exploit this vulnerability. And uh, two months later, another team of researchers came up with a way to exploit this vulnerability only in Fison microcontrollers. Uh, and of course they publish the uh, the code that they wrote in this link here as you can see and it has to do with Fison 2251 03 uh, this is the type of microcontroller that a USB device has to be equipped uh, to be vulnerable to the bad USB vulnerability. So, what we can do with this? First of all, we have to download the zip file with all the code, all this code. If you d uh, with this code, we have to compile many of the programs that we are going to use with uh, okay yes and I have pre-compiled them here and I'm going to uh, upload it into, into my Google Drive so if you want uh, you can download it from my link but in the description I will give you the link of the original um, uh, uploader so uh, in this tutorial we're going to use one of the supported devices that I have purchased, purchased, and uh, you can I uh, I will give you uh, a link with the with all the supported devices, and we're going to reprogram this device uh, to a keyboard, and we are going to uh, produce automa uh, automated keystrokes in the target machine. So. I start by connected, connecting my USB device into my machine. As you can see here, it's uh, the Toshiba Transmemory MX 16GB and it is empty in the... Yes, okay, here. So, we open CMD. Also, I will give you all the commands that we are going that you are going to need for this attack. Uh, the DAC encoder, because we are going to implement uh, rubber DAC scripts. You are going to see what this is later. Uh, tools to reprogram in the starting position your flash drive uh, the get flash info exe that as you can see here if I open it and press get USB flash drive information you can see here that my controller is the controller that is supported from the uploaded vulnerability from Fison so we are going back and the tool that we are going to need is drivecom first of all as i said to you here we have the hid commands so let's see uh, the rubber ducky uh, is an hid device that uh, does exactly this. Uh, it produces automated keystrokes to the victim machine. 
Um, so here I'm going to give you this link also uh, is many automated scripts scripts uh, that as you can see you can implant implant a Wi-Fi backdoor uh, you can make a reverse cell with Metasploit many many automated scripts that uh, produce themselves with keystrokes I say again so the, uh, the script that we're going to produce is a real simple one uh, and as you can see the scripting language is really easy and you can find it uh, in the USB rubber ducky wiki here so again we first of all hit uh, GUI R to start the run here and then it uh, types notepad to start the notepad and then it types in a, a string that says uh, you have been pwned and my website so this is the script and let me delete that for a moment so here I ha uh, you have to have installed the java uh, I'm going to give you link in the description and we use the duck and code jar file from here and then we use the txt script that we have written with uh, the scripting language that you are going to sh find in the rubber ducky github and we produce an a bin file that we are going to implement in our firmware file that we are going to flash in the vulnerable USB flash drive. So we paste this, we examine it, and as you can see here, we have the inject bin file. So then, of course, you are going to change the paths with your paths uh, uh, of your files uh, to be to be executed, right? Uh, then we are going to convert the inject bin file to firmware uh, first of all we have to go to fison master in the firmware folder and execute the build.bat file and as you can see here a new folder Oops, sorry okay it closes uh, closed uh, a new folder produced with the firmware files that we we are going to need uh, this is the firmware file and here we are going to use the embedded payload exe from the vulnerable code and we are going to implement the inject bin that has the script we are going to produce to the firmware, firmware bin file so we copy it, paste it here and the file has been updated so now we have to set the USB uh, our USB our, our vulnerable USB to boot mode uh, in this mode we are going to be able to flash the firmware of the microcontroller easily so we're going for this we're going to use the drivecom exe and we are going to need the drive letter so the drive letter as we saw earlier for me it's the letter E you have to go to your PC and find out which is your drive letter and then the action is set boot mode so we copy again this we paste it here and as you can see you're going to see your uh, USB LED light to get uh, not to dim but uh, always on and you're not going to, you are not be able to uh, to access your flash drive storage so then uh, we have to send the executable uh, in the microcontroller we're going to use again the drive.com uh, exe program 
the drive letter, uh, the action is now sent executable and we are going to need the burner image. So I'm going to provide you with a big amount of, sorry, it will be here, a big amount of uh, firmware images and you are going to find out from Python wiki here on how to obtain a burner image the the burner image that uh, suits your flash drive or you can go to the forums and find it there so I have find out which is the right one for me as you can see, as you can see is the bn03v104m.bin and I am going to send it to my flash drive okay and now to be safe and be able to restore our flash drive to its original position we are going to dump the original firmware this is a really important step because if we not have the original firmware we the our flash drive may be broken so we are going to use the drive com exe program with the drive letter e uh, the action will be dump firmware and the firmware will be saved in this path as current firmware dot bin we copy it paste it hit enter and as you can see here a new file produced with this name current firmware dot bin as we said and finally we send the payload to firmware so here we have again the drivecom.exe program with drive letter e the action is sent firmware uh, we use the burner image that we said earlier and the firmware that we produced earlier with our payload uh, of rubber ducky so we copy it paste it here Enter. and now as you can see our flash drive has been rebooted the firmware was sent and it's executed in the microcontroller so now we disconnect our flash drive to get out of the boot mode and we have and our device is ready with our payload now that our USB device is ready the only thing we have to do is find a victim and connect it to an open USB port it doesn't matter if it has an antivirus program because uh, it is, uh, if it is connected, uh, it is seen as a keyboard. So our victim machine will be Windows 8.1 Pro Professional 64-bit. And now we just connect the USB device into a USB port and in a matter of seconds okay you saw it uh, the run program started from here uh, it hit the start button with R and it came up, run, it uh, like this, uh, it have typed notepad and enter. So the notepad program started and then the USB typed you have been pawned crossplace.wordpress.com. Uh, so more or less this 
is the attack, so imagine the amount of possibilities that came out of this. Uh, no antivirus can track this, so we can we can type a payload really fast with uh, or take a metaprinter metaprinter session really fast with uh, no hurdles. Uh, so this was it about this tutorial. We can you can ask me anything you want in the uh, comment section below or in my website. Uh, you can send me an email or in my Facebook page. So thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel uh, to see more videos in the future. Thank you.